hi everyone welcome back to my channel the mk lady well you'll see that i am not ready this video is going to be a get ready with me video and i have my makeup set up right here i went ahead and applied my foundation just because that takes the longest and then i put on my whole face after that and i see that i have a little uh tiny black dot from my smoothie in one of my teeth there so we'll go ahead and get started so like i said i have everything up and away from my face and so i am gonna go in actually i have been loving these clarins water lip stains so i have both colors let me see what the colors are i put both of them on but Actually, this one is my favorite. So this one is the color Violet, as you could see right there. And it feels like I have something in the bottom tooth now. And then this one is called, this one's just called Red. <laughs> so I got these from Shoppers. So what I do is they dry down really <laughs> Um, good on your lips so my base I just put a little bit foundation on there and I could see that I didn't I do have something in my teeth at the bottom so I'll get that out and get a drink of water so yeah I go ahead and do this one I have my um, my little light here so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Actually, I should maybe bring it up and then you can see. So let me move this stuff here. So yeah, like I said, what takes me the longest, whoops, bump the camera there, is always the, what do you call, the foundation. So, okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm not looking, to, oh geez, what did I draw? dropping everything here okay so i'll go ahead and start applying this water stain from clarence so i put this one on as a base and it's like looks a little orange and then it dries down i do have my fan on and my door open so if my dogs come in here you'll see why so i do stick to this tend to stick to the same products okay so it looks a little bit clownish right now but I'm gonna smush it out and then you'll see here in a minute what it looks like okay so there it dries down a little bit it's not as orange as it is and then i go in with this and i should tell you the foundation i'm using is of course the nars and this one is in copenhagen sheer glow so and then i need to get another one of these this is vanilla in the born this way matte and then I just showed you I picked up my favorite concealer by Born This Way and this one is in the color Snow so that helps my under eyes. I turned 50 this year so <laughs> um, I still have some wrinkles and indents and everything that I like to conceal. So now we're going to go in with the color Violet and I'll show you why this is my favorite color. It just makes my my lips not so orangey and it gives it and it stays on I'll show you with my drink thing it stays on even when you eat and drink and I'll just kind of dry it down so there you go it is I'm gonna turn my light up here so you can see um, so then while I wait for that to dry down I start doing my hair and my hair is super easy <laughs> so I'm just grabbing my comb 
and my pick and my hairspray so you know I've been using this like I said BB hairdresser I've been using stuff for years and years and I'm just gonna push my fan because it's blowing everything out of the way so I just have a tank top on that's why I look like a little bit of a mess so um, I just have to go to winners my usual and then uh, go to shoppers my other usual and um, then I pick up my grandson from daycare so I just grabbed this curling iron this is a straightener and it is a curling iron but I just straighten my hair and give it a little bit of a wisp at the end there and it just it doesn't take me very long um, to do my hair and I'm just gonna push this camera down and I give it a little bit of a spray this is Marc Jacobs just that's all I need and then because I don't wash my hair every day and my camera's going dark again so I just do it really quickly and this video is already going into six minutes but this won't take long so is everyone ready for Christmas I know I am I have all this wrapping I need to do and then I take another piece now you guys might be too short on the camera and then I wire it up just like this and then I bring this out and let's see whoops just moving my little mirror thing here to get it just give it a little bit of a thing at the end and then a little bit of a spray not very much because tonight is not my hair washing night tomorrow night is hair washing night and because I color my hair um, I don't want it to get super damaged and washing it every day and then blow drying it every day and all that so it's super easy and I just got a haircut so give this side a little bit of a spray and then I take the top part and my brush has a lot of hair on it give it some back combing and then I'll be done it's like easy as pie so done that's all it is and I see it I don't know where I got this red mark at the top so remember I said this one is also a straightener you can see my hair and then you turn it here and then it's a curling iron I got this last year at it's called smooth wrap at winners so oh yeah and the other thing I wanted to show you about this if you ever come across this it actually folds down and it's compact and you can take it on your trip if you'd like so let's give it a little bit of a smoosh there and then I do poof it up a little bit and one of the reasons why I wanted to do this get ready with me video so remember I said my lips they're quite dry are not they the lipstick is dried down look no lipstick <laughs> it stays on your teeth so that is Clarence so now what I'm going to do is put some bare minerals powder on I'm just going to show you the top of it and this is like kind of like the smoothing and then um, I'm going to put some under eye stuff on and this one is locket this is kind of a little locket little travel size and then I put that under my eyes and let that sit 
for a bit and then poof, we put on all this stuff. You can see the powder. All my brushes are either Shoppers or Sephora's, nothing special. I'm not a professional makeup person, but I haven't done one in so long I thought I would because I did get a few new things. Now remember, oh and it's all dirty, I got this just not long ago. This is the Burgundy Bar by Maybelline. I love all these colors. So I do want to show you that, but first what I do is I just take some highlighter and then put it a little bit on my brows and then give it a little bit here. And then I take my NARS um, bronzer, whatever you can say, and just give a little bit right in the cheekbones right there. And then I've been with this blush. This is Tarte and this is the Amazon Clay Tipsy color. I've been with that one for quite a while. And we'll, so I take that and apply it to the cheeks. And then, oh, here's another pencil I think I need. So then I take my eyebrow. Um, this one is medium brown. This is called Brow Struck by Kat, Kat Von D. It's getting at its last legs. <laughs> I'm gonna need to pull out my other one. Then I take my eyebrows and just kind of add a little bit of dimension here for my eyebrows. And remember how I said this one, this eyelash curler thing um, I got from Showcase is not working the greatest? Well, I ordered another one from Amazon. So let me just grab my, these are kind of the three brushes that I use for my um, eyeshadow. And so I'm just gonna take these two colors right here and then apply them at the inside on kind of the brow bone and just blend and mix out just back and forth. And then I take the flat brush and then I take this color here. They have names, but I can't see and I don't have my glasses on. Um, but I just add a little bit of dimension in the creases and I need to add a little bit more there. And then that's what we're working with. And then I will grab this brush, oops, and this color and this color right there. And then I, I swish it over to the side, just like this. Oh. And then I put it also underneath my eyes on the bottom to give it some dimension. And then I take my smaller brush and then I want to do a little bit of highlights. So I'm using these two colors, these three colors actually. And then I just go over top and just like that. Like this is going to be my, no my new go-to, especially for traveling because it is so small. So done my eyes and then I just kind of blend it, keep blending it, keep blending it. And now remember I was telling you this NYX Professional Ink Eyeliner. This is in the color brown. Then I take it just really smoothly like that and like that. Then I kind of smoosh it out a little bit with my fingers. You can see right there. And I am using two. I'm using Lacombe Lash Idol and Fan Fest. I put the Lacombe on first, but let me just curl my lashes. This isn't working the greatest, so you just hold it there. 
and wait a couple seconds and then you grab the other side hold it there wait a couple seconds I usually do twice on each eye and this video is at 15 15 we're just about done so then I take the Lacombe and this one just kind of gives me separation and a little bit of volume and then I take the fan fest and this is a lot of volume so see how much it is right there and then that gives you a lot of volume right there and last step is then I kind of flick my eyelashes up and then that's it I'm done that's all there is to it um, not going nowhere special today but have to do a few errands but thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel the MK lady also don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time I upload a video you will get notified have a great day bye